The CDC has told medical professionals they can use a homemade mask if they get desperate. But instead of bandanas and scarves, Rebecca Lindstrom talks with a Georgia dentist that has created potentially safer solutions and wants your help to make them come real. I think I've come up with a solution. Take a dentist with some time on his hands. A 3D printer, an engineer, and a plastic surgeon, and what do you get? And here it goes. It's not a punchline to a joke, but a serious solution to concerns medical professionals will run out of protective face masks. There have been um, nurses and ORs that have written my staff messages uh, saying they were crying because they weren't be being given the proper equipment. Since Dr. Mark Causey created this website with design details this weekend, he says more than 2,000 people have downloaded the plans to begin production, including staff in the STEM lab at Union High School. You have to make sure your settings are correct and the density is correct. But finished molds can be delivered to a participating dentist, where a seal is added to the back so it fits tightly to the face. To avoid contamination, users will attach a piece of HEPA filter and replace it as needed. This filter? comes from a shop vac. And you can actually see the breathing. Yeah. That's happening. So that works out. And then what we do is we wear this mask, which is my surgical mask, on top of it. The masks are not FDA approved or designed to replace ND95 masks, but a hospital in Savannah is helping to test them out. And Dr. Puya Davuti with Northeast Georgia Plastic Surgery has already started wearing his at work. People are sitting at home now having a lot of excess time in their hand and they're using their table saws so we get all these finger injuries that occur. Cause he says anyone with a 3D printer can make the masks, even kids. There are many idle kids out there that are doing schooling at home and have these craft 3D printers. Even if Georgia has enough N95 masks right now, other states may not be so lucky. I actually got a text from someone in New York that said our COVID unit is no longer having masks available. We don't even have gowns. People are wearing garbage bags as their, uh, as their gowns. These friends say this effort is about helping those in need, wherever they may be, and empowering our community to do it. We have put a list of dentists that have agreed to participate in finishing off the masks on 11alive.com, along with a link on how you can get those printing.